The 7 News I team digging deeper tonight into disturbing video out of Prince George's County's police department involving an officer's use of force. Our investigative reporter Scott Taylor broke these stories and Scott, you had some questions about body cams and why officers just can't keep them on during struggles. A lot of questions. Now this is Officer Stephen Tucker and another Prince George's County police officer struggling with a suspect who's handcuffed during this incident. Both officers had their body cameras fall off. T Tucker lost his not once, but twice. Cell phone video posted on X last October shows Prince George's County police officer Stephen Tucker grabbing a handcuffed suspect's neck during a struggle after the man refused to get into a patrol car's front seat. They fall and Tucker's arm ends up on the man's neck. This is all caught on cell phone video. That video is the only recorded evidence of the actual struggle because Tucker and his second female officer's body cameras fall off. One of the reasons why we invest so heavily in body cameras is to prevent use of force in the first place. Criminologist Eric Pisa with Northeastern University says a study he conducted with the Newark, New Jersey Police Department found body cameras fall off more than 34% of the time. It's a body cam. Plus, it appears the Prince George's County Police Department didn't follow its own use of force guidelines. The department's media manager, Brian Fisher, says the department saw the cell phone video last year, but it never kept a copy of it. And there is no use of force investigation of the incident because Tucker's supervisor called it justifiable. According to police department's policy, a neck restraint is a use of force. When used, an officer's supervisor must obtain a use of force number and make sure the officer completes a use of force statement. In addition, any video evidence obtained is routed through the chain of command and to the internal affairs department. We filed a public document request for any use of force investigation, but so far we haven't received any documents. Fisher told 7 News in an email no internal affairs department investigation was conducted into this incident. Every single instance of force should be documented and filed in some capacity. What does Tucker's body camera and the camera from the second officer reveal? We requested both, and it shows before and after the use of force, but both body cameras fall off. Tucker's falls off twice during the arrest. Let me get your body cam. Seven News has learned through the Prince George's County Police Union okay. that patrol officers use iPro body cameras. Stay in my back. Can you help? Union officials say Prince George's is one of the only departments in the area that uses iPros. Most other departments use Axon cameras. No, no, you're not Union officials also say the department is now using a newer magnetic clip, which works much better to secure the body camera. But if the police agency had some type of regular review of body camera footage, I think it wouldn't take a large leap of faith to see the body camera fall off, even hear the, the struggle that's going on, and to conclude that some type of force was used. We dug through Tucker's records with the police department. And Seven News discovered since 2016, Tucker has been under review for 37 incidents where he used force on a suspect in the past eight years, including this exclusive video that Seven News obtained that shows Tucker punching a handcuffed and belted in suspect eight times in the head after the man spit on Tucker. Police called this use of force justifiable. So what does Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Aziz have to say? He still won't talk to the I team on camera about use of force in his own department. If you're wondering, the man in the video was arrested on multiple charges, including resisting arrest. He won't talk to us, and it appears his charges were dropped. The county's police advisory board, made up of residents, tell us it never saw a use of force report on this incident. Its funding, by the way, is being cut by over 30%. We're digging into all of that for our next story. For the I-Team, Scott Taylor, 7 News.